Hidetara Yamagishi, fresh off his Masters Olympia win, 212 division. He is 50 years old. Did you guys know that Hidetara was actually 50 years old? So it's not surprising that he's not really in his quote-unquote prime anymore. When was his prime? His biggest win, I guess you could say, is at the 2016 Arnold Classic pictured here. And we're going to do a little comparison today. I thought Hidetara Yamagishi was worth doing a little mention. You know, he won the he won the Olympia. He won the Olympian Masters 212 division. Let's do a video comparison to show him in his prime versus now. But like I said, 50 years old. So in 2016, he was already in his 40s. So realistically, guys, this Arnold Classic win, and that was a 212 division, by the way. This really wasn't his prime, was it? If you ask me, no, it wasn't. It was here that uh, Yamagishi was in his prime, if you ask me. This is the 2012 Europa Super Show, and he placed second here. But, I mean, he defeated guys like Roly Winkler and uh, Tony Freeman, a couple of other big names, Brandon Curry, things of that nature. He is awesome here. Look at the size of the wheels. You know what? He has superior muscle separation in the abs at 50 years old. Of course, his legs are a little down in size, things of that nature. But, I mean, he's more peeled than he was at 40-some years of age at the 2016. You guys do the math. You guys do the math. Anyway, anyway, let's go through these shots. And, yeah, 2012 Europa, obviously, he would be... Just under 40 years old here. He would have been, well, 30, 39. Hmm? Yeah, that's that's your prime. Absolutely, and it shows. This guy was a force to be reckoned with. Triceps, even from this shot, look huge. The delts look huge. Everything looks fantastic. And kudos to uh, Yamagishi in the uh, 50 years, 50 years old uh, range, so to speak. Let's go through these shots, and yes, yes, and it's worth to mention, guys. Well, obviously, if he defeated guys like Roly Winkler, it's the open class Hidetada Yamagishi in 2012. So, realistically, he could have stayed in the open class, and he would have been much bigger than you see here. 2016 Arnold Classic victory, 212 division, and yeah, he's a lot better then than he is now. As far as the the quads, the, the chest, great big man's chest. And you know, big man's chests are bigger, I think, and they're more robust in the younger breeds of bodybuilders. And that's why guys from the 70s usually had bigger chests, because they were all in their 20s, for goodness sakes. But when it comes to the back, usually it takes some refinement to work on that back. Usually your back's not the best in your 20s. And you can see, yeah, I think his back was at its best earlier on, I think in his late 30s here. But, you know, there's something to be said about those huge traps at the Arnold Classic. Come on, you can't say Arnold Classic, you foolish boy, without saying in my accent the Arnold Classic and then say something foolish, like get to the chapel, Billy, a hole. Anyway, that is the lat spread pose. You can see the conditioning in his late 30s. He was puzzled. Still not too bad. Obviously, guys, I'm not going to really not gonna really bash him too bad on his back development. He's 50 years old, guys. Give him a break. Now, here's an interesting situation, and I would be highly remiss, very, quietly, highly remiss. To not mention the fact that his back look like, looks like it's gotten bigger. His lats look like they have grown. Look at him in his 30s. Lat insertions. Now, yes, his arms are bigger. His lower half is supreme for sure. I'm not, uh, not saying that. But look at the lats. Sing. The lats are very petite. Not very long. And then in 2016... At the Arnold Classic, get to the Chapa, looks like he has developed some lats. And then when he's 50, 
it looks like he's been exclusively working on his back. I thought his back was deteriorated away, but that is not the case at all. Maybe some wrinkles. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to repeat his age again, but it is remarkable to look that good at 50 years of age. 50 years of age. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here's the abs and thigh. This man is unbelievable. Now, here's a situation where his midsection, ignore the lats, ignore the quads, his abs are just as good as they've ever been. So that's, that's unreal. You get tougher, I guess. He's, he dieted harder. He, he worked on his abs more. I don't know. He's just, uh, like I said, you get tougher. But ultimately that, that body starts to, to break down on you. So mentally, mentally, these guys are as fresh as a daisy. And could you imagine you take a 50 year old and give him a fresh new physique no aching joints or anything like that. That guy would mean business. And you can see, Yamagishi, he did mean business. And this one wraps it up. The most muscular. His tricep meat. Look at those great big tricep sweeps. <laughs> sweeps. You got... <laughs> never mind, never mind. It's funny, it's funny. Yeah, he, he has a pretty good physique, guys, back in 2012. Europa. Europa? Europe? Europe? Nice little hair queef to his credit at the Arnold Classic 2016. Get to the billy. And those abs, fresh as they have ever been. Fresh out of the Haratita Hidatara Yamagishi oven. And yeah, what can you say? This guy... He uh, aged like a fine wine. Of course, he doesn't have those tricep sweeps. He doesn't have the size in the quads. But what the heck? He has a Masters Olympia title. And you know what? Fittingly, the guy was 50. I mean, 40? 40? 40's not really fair, is it? 40 years old? Pretty much your prime. They should have made it 40, 45 and up. 45 and up. Hit thumbs up on the video. Speaking of up. Helps me greatly with the Alga, Al Gore rhythm. I am Al Gore. Is that an Al Gore impression? I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. That's it for now. Have a great one.